Hello guys, hope you all are doing great. Let's talk about FP1 and FP2 of Imola GP. Both practice sessions have been tricky for the teams and the drivers. Track seems a bit bumpy, whether it is a nature of the track, bumps all over of it, or purposing which we saw in 2022. If anyone has an idea, do let me know in the comment section below. With starting of the practice session, every team used their own strategies by running on different tire compounds, some teams with aero rakes and some with flowvis paint. This weekend, the type of soft tires used is the first in the season, so team do not have any data to analyze the performance. Let's start with heavily upgraded Ferrari. It's a home race for them, Charles stopped the chart in both the practice session and Sainz struggled a bit. Practice session is to find and try different setup. Hopefully, so Sainz find a good setup for his car in FP3. Charles was very confident in the track and was attacking every corner. Talking about SF24 EVO, I guess the team has done a lot of work before coming here and recent time at Fiorano track also helped them to track some data. As soon as practice started, both the drivers were on track and putting lap after lap. No rakes or no flow with paint like McLaren who brought the upgrades at Miami GP weekend and here also checking the airflow. Ferrari looks strong but it will be hard to say now cause every team is running on different setup and different fuel loads. Max Verstappen struggles in RB20. He was very much complaining on the radio. He had lot of moments which could have ended his practice session. Front end of the car is not giving him the confidence to go aggressive and also the lap times are bit down as compared to Ferrari and McLaren. Who knows whether Red Bulls are sandbanging or they are in real struggle. I think if this weekend would have been sprint with only one practice session to go, then Red Bull would have been struggle the most. Also this practice session, Max Verstappen is in the hands of his performance engineer. Let's see how FP3 and Quali unfolds for them. Mercedes had a strong day today. Both drivers are confident, however, Lewis had a bit of a moment in FP1. In FP1, P2 and P7 for Russell and Hamilton and in FP2, P4 and P5 for Hamilton and Russell. Mercedes have also brought upgrades and I think the upgrades are working fine for them. The race pace is also looking very strong. McLaren is the team who will have a solid weekend. Their lap times are closer to Ferrari and Red Bull. This weekend, they are not behind. Norris had a tricky day in both the sessions. However, Piastri looked very strong. Going further into this weekend with lots of data collected, this team will come out stronger. Surprise package here was Tsunoda. He shocked everyone here with the lap times and performance. He is specializing his teammate Daniel this weekend. I guess Tsunoda will be able to challenge Mercedes in qualifying and will make memorable race for the team's home race and once again, hard day for Daniel Ricciardo. Now talking about the rest of the grip, William's struggles continues. Alex Albon had some technical issues in FP1 and the car went off, ending his FP1 session on the other hand, Logan struggled and was finding himself in the gravels very often. Tough day for both Alpine drivers as both reporting bumping issues in the car while driving which was hampering their lap times. Kick Sauber seemed to be off the face as of now with both the drivers not finding any sort of luck on the track. So guys, race will be very interesting as top 3 teams Red Bull, Ferrari and McLaren seems to have a similar race pace, 120 or low 121 seconds. This is the second weekend where Max Verstappen is struggling, it's the pressure, car issue or sandbanging, only qualifying and race will tell us. Will Sainz be able to find the rhythm? I am pretty much excited for the race and to see the top 3 teams battling with each other. So that's all for now, see you all in my next video, until then like share subscribe. Take care, bye.